Hello and welcome to how to use the rich text block. So when you're creating widgets, you may be familiar and using regularly the text widget here. This text widget is pretty simple. You just drag it in and type in what text you want to say. However, there may be occasions where you want the text to change maybe color halfway through or change font halfway through or be underlined or italic or anything like that. And you want to add styling to your text. This is where the rich text block comes in. So I'm going to take out my existing text block and put in a rich one instead. And on the rich one, we can type over here the text we want to show. So we could call this one, uh, hello, my, my name is Ryan and I am a YouTube tutorial guru. But when you hit enter, you'll notice that the text displays like this, which is very strange. And basically it does that because it is rendering uh, nothing. It's just a default blank nothing. So to make it work, we need to add a style sheet to this. So I'm just going to make this fill the whole screen first of all, like so. And we're going to create a style sheet for this. And you'll see there's an option for a style sheet to appear here. So to create one, we're going to go and right click and choose a new data table. And from the drop down, you're going to choose the rich text style row. Click on this and OK. And we'll call this one rich text style sheet. And inside my style sheet, I can define the different styles I may have. The first one you add, the first row, will be the default text. So we're going to name this one default. And this would be its appearance here. So I'm going to choose my font and I'm going to choose the Roboto one, the default Roboto. And I can change the size and so forth. Material, can check, customize, all of this stuff. And I'll make the color here white. But I'm going to add another row now. I'm going to add a new one. And this one I'm going to have as italic. And in here, I'm going to do exactly the same font, basically. So Roboto, white, but I'm going to have it italic. So I'm going to go to typeface and I'm going to choose italic. And I'm going to add another one and we'll call this one uh, name. And again, we're going to choose Roboto. Uh, but this time I'm going to change the color here to green and hit save. So uh, I've got the default one and two extra ones. I'm going to go back to the rich text widget and on the text style sheet, I'm going to choose my rich text style sheet. When I hit compile, we'll see the default text being used. Now to insert your custom styles, you go up to your text here and let's say on the name here, I'm going to put in the color. Now the way you do this is with the less than or greater than symbols. So do less than and then you put in the name of the row in a style sheet. So mine is name and then greater than and then on the other side of the text you want to put in less than forward slash greater than and when you hit enter you'll see the name now changes color because I've surrounded the name Ryan with the green tag and I'm now going to go to the guru part and put italics around it so less than italic greater than and on the other side of it, do a slash. And now you can see the italics coming in just so, like so. And that is how you use the rich text style sheet. There's obviously more we can do with this, uh, but I'll do more videos for that separately. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this how-to. If you want to see more how-tos and other videos from me, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady to see these videos before anyone else from just $1 a month. Thanks for your time, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Bye.